Our next honoree is known for her quilting prowess that provides comfort to hundreds of veterans' families. But what's ironic is that her skills grew out of a totally unrelated passion. I was a teacher for 35 years, teaching middle school math and science. So when I retired from teaching, I was looking for something that would let me continue with my love for the computers. Saw a quilt one day with photos on it, and it just triggered in my mind and said, I'm gonna teach myself how to do that, and uh, let's see where it takes me. This is the first quilt that I made, and it was for my aunt. It started with people with memory problems, and I was putting the names above the pictures, so I started with making quilts for people with Alzheimer's, and then there's two organizations that I work with for veterans that had brain injuries and post-traumatic stress. When one mother lost her son after two years at Walter Reed, she had a special request. She asked if I could make her a flag since she couldn't afford to visit her son's gravesite in Texas. She lives in Philadelphia. I work with the family, first receiving their photos that can take months for them to actually be able to look at the photos and be able to share them with me because it's so emotional. Every single one is completely unique. Some have paragraphs or stories or words that their son or daughter had often said. We always just feel the presence. It's something special because it's photos and you can just look in the eyes of the fallen hero. In two years, I've made 10 photo quilts, hundreds of remembering flags, and quite a few pillows as well. It gives them something very soft and just be able to hold on to. Because they're washable, they also know that it's okay if they shed some tears, nothing's gonna happen to the pillow. It does bring comfort. My son is on active duty in the Navy. His wife is in the Coast Guard, and my husband's retired, so from the Navy. And so for over 40 years, that's been a part of my life. My son and daughter-in-law, their schedules are crazy. They're deployed, they're, my son flies at night, and so I'm there to help with the babysitting. And I'm someone that does not question how their fallen hero died. I have received many sad stories that start with, if you read the story, you may not want to make a, a flag for me because um, several are with suicides or post-traumatic stress, car accidents, and it's just all pure comforting them, and that's what's soothing to me.